Hello, Metal Max coming at you from the uh, Fitchburg Great Dane. And what's so special about the Fitchburg Great Dane, you ask? Well, it's this band right here, Seven Cities Dead. Um, they were just doing a recording session over at uh, Sound Blast Studios, and now they're here, you know, having a little, uh, having having some grub. Is that right? Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. <laughs> let's let's go introduce these guys one by one here. You know, we'll start with you. I'm Josh Kurtz, lead vocals. I'm Lucas Peters, I play the drums. Josh, play bass. Thomas, play guitar. Guy, guitar, and uh, clean vocals. All right, perfect. Mm -hmm. So you got two, so it's two different vocalists. So you got one one that screams and one that sings. That's pretty uh, it's pretty amazing. So let's, first of all, let's, let's talk about, let's talk about the band. Yeah. So uh, we've been a band for about, uh, is it two years now? Two-ish. Yeah. Uh, so we started playing shows last February. Uh, got together over the internet, actually, and Craigslist. gone from there. Yeah. So I'm the, I'm the big deep-seated meaning guy of the band, but uh, it's actually just a badass name, to be honest, and we can definitely all agree, all agree on that. Yeah, it's definitely just a, it sounds metal as hell, so that's the definite thing. For me, uh, there's a few things in the Bible that actually talk about the seven um, deadly sins, and there's a city for each sin, so seven cities dead. So that's that's why I went with not everyone was fully in tune with the whole idea. So it just sounds bad. All right, <laughs> I have an addition. <laughs> there's a poem called Seven Cities of the Dead on like page 52 of Google, and uh, that was where I originally got the idea. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's ridiculous. Page 52, huh? I might yeah, you can remember page. the page. That's pretty good. So you guys were just uh, in at the uh, yeah, yeah, Blast yeah. House Studio. Talk about what you were recording and, uh, you know, if it's something that we're going to see on an upcoming uh, EP or single release, perhaps. Which one of you wants to shed some light on that? You gotta go for it. Well, it's one of our newer songs that we've been playing, that we recently started playing live, and... It has a, a softer beginning that we were really not, we don't very, do very often. We're pretty much heavy right away and go for it type of band, but we really put in some softer sound in it, make it a little lighter for to intrigue other people who might not be as heavy metal heads as us. But it's a great blend right away after that slow part. <laughs> but uh, we're not quite sure if we're going to have it on the new EP or if we're going to do a single, but. It is definitely up for grabs yet because we're working on new material right now and we'll see how that goes. Now, from what I read on your biography, you guys uh, have a unique blend of uh, certain styles of uh, metal music in there. Um, I mean, I could run down some of the names of the bands and uh, you could tell me if, uh, if they influenced you in any way, like uh, Kill Switch Engage? Yes, sir. Yeah, okay, yes. Uh, Event Sevenfold. Yeah, of course. Of course obviously, of course. Yeah. You're wearing the shirt. <laughs> and uh, basically, you know, a lot. I would say it's probably a lot of um, a lot of a lot of metalcore stuff that influences you. But um, do you ever take any inspiration from anything old school, perhaps like uh, I don't know, say Metallica? Um, I would think so. Like my bass playing is heavily influenced by like Jason Newsted and. You know, that's sort of the technique that I like to play with. So yes, I would have to say, you know, for me personally, you know, Metallica and that style is a, a big influence on what I'm doing. So do you, as you guys keep going forward with, with the band, do you see yourselves getting heavier or going a little softer like the Event Sevenfold 18 Visions route? Uh, I'm going with heavier. <laughs> going well, with heavier. I think we'll probably go... Uh, with he the heavier style, mm -hmm. um, we do mix some of the clean vocals in, and we really like that mix level. Uh, we we don't um, have a ton of songs that are just screaming, or okay. we don't have any that are just singing. So uh, we like we like throwing in that that melodic vocal, but we like to bring the heaviness instead. You know, for the most part. You know, there's been a lot of bands, particularly in the metalcore scene, that have tended to like you know sort of like abandon the screaming altogether and just focus on the singing bands like It Dies Today, Event Sevenfold. 
18 Visions for a little while, and most recently, Bring Me the Horizon. Do you think? Do you think it's? Do you think it's good for bands to explore different styles of music every now and then? Yeah, I think it's uh, super important for bands to explore different things that they uh, are maybe influenced by. Throw something that they normally uh, haven't done before uh, into the mix because if you're doing the same thing over and over again, it can get a little bit dull. Um, but I think with a lot of the bands moving away from that is two things. One, uh, it's not as radio friendly for a lot of uh, those bigger bands. So, so vocals, uh, if you've been screaming for 20 years, uh, some people get tired of it. Why would you? Yeah. I, th I think a lot of it, like I even see it with like Slipknot for instance, like they right away their first two albums were heaviest albums of all time in my personal opinion but and then after a while it threw in more singing and i can totally see the the reasoning behind it not necessarily that i totally like it but <laughs> i can get it you know it makes it does make sense it, it very much does i agree um and you know it, in my personal opinion as far as bands like bring me the horizon go i mean I like the fact that they want to evolve, but that, I don't like the fact they want to strip away from metal music and go more alternative, you know? Right, so many, yeah, yeah, I mean, the latest album is guaranteed to piss off any heavy metal fan <laughs> right now. <laughs> All right, so next weekend we're playing the Midwest Original Music Fest in St. Francis Mom Festival. Uh, weekend after that, we're in Central Wisconsin and Marshfield at Danger Fest. Ooh, yes. um, that's always fun. Oh, yes. is it October 12th? Yes. October 12th, we're playing uh, Breast Fest uh, up in Appleton. Um, outside of that, I think that's all we have in the works for now. November 15th, uh, Metal from Us. Metal from Us, no, Metal from us November 15th oh, cool. as well. Wow. So, surprisingly, we're, we're busier than we anticipated being this time of year since we wanted to work on new music. Yeah. Now, there's, there are fans who are probably going to ask, you know, are, is there any hope for Madison shows down the road? Because, you know, you guys <laughs> did a recording here, you're doing the interview here. You got to be doing some shows in Madison at some point. We want to. We yeah. really want to. Uh, we haven't haven't gotten a chance yet uh, to play anywhere around here, but we would love to uh, get to some of the venues and and hopefully rock with you guys. Oh, absolutely! Because uh, let's face it, uh, Madison's uh, music scene has actually gotten better. I don't say I don't think we're any, we're 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 like Austin, Texas, but we're kind of coming sure. close in some spots. I mean, but I will say this. Um, you know, from what I've heard, it, it sounds really, really brutally awesome. Cool. I can't wait to uh, hear more. And uh, wrapping this up, talk about where uh, people can uh, can find your music. It's all you guys do. <laughs> so you can find us on uh, all the major channels. We, uh, we're on Spotify, Amazon, Apple, iTunes, uh, Google Play. Um, Bandcamp. Yep, Bandcamp. Band we've got stuff on there. I got a couple actual extras on Bandcamp with like some lyric books and stuff like that. Um, and then we, uh, we've got a Facebook page. You can check us out on Facebook and Instagram. We yes, just started sir. that up. Uh, so yeah. Not MySpace, obviously. No, not, not if not they bring it back. back. We should, we should <laughs> do that <laughs> next. <laughs> down. Let's, let's bring back MySpace. I'm down 100%. <laughs> All right. Well, well, thanks again, you guys. You know, it's been fun. Um, I, I, like I said, I look forward to hearing a lot more down the road. And um, and any music promoter in Madison that catches this, you know, please, you know, get these guys on yeah. on a, booked at a Madison venue. Seriously, you know, <laughs> this is too good of a band to pass up. So, anyway, this is Metal Max coming at you from the Fitchburg Great Day, and I've been talking with Seven Cities Dead. Any last words, guys? Metal! Yeah, buddy! All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.